photography has come a long, long way since its beginnings in the 19th century. Taking a photo used to require minutes of exposure, and the end result was a grainy black and white image. But even if the first photos were fuzzy, washed-out affairs, excitement for this new medium quickly spread all around the world. So how exactly did cameras go from this to this? Before the advent of photography, people had to rely on artists to create images. It wasn't until the 19th century that inventors realized that the technology to capture and print images may have been sitting right under their noses for hundreds of years. The earliest camera prototypes were, in essence, ways to capture images produced by a camera obscura, a darkened room with a hole or lens on one side, from which light from outside the room would refract through the opening. The end result was a projected image on the opposite side of the wall. In the year 1800, British inventor Thomas Wedgwood realized one could, in theory, preserve the image produced by a camera obscura via the use of a light-sensitive substance. He treated a sheet of paper with silver nitrate and left it exposed under an image produced by a camera obscura. Although the images produced via his method were grainy and faded relatively quickly, this methodology laid the groundwork for the first commercially available photographic process, the daguerreotype. Leading up to its introduction to the public in 1839, Louis Daguerre spent years honing his process. This involved polishing a sheet of silver-plated copper to a mirror shine, treating it with iodine vapor to give it light-sensitive properties, developing the image by exposing the plate to heated mercury, and fixing the image in place with hot salt water. This process took mere minutes. Numerous other forms of photography were developed around the world during this time, most notably William Fox Talbot's calotype process, which entailed the use of chemicals to quickly develop negative images, allowing the production of multiple identical positive copies from the original negative image. In 1885, what some consider the biggest early breakthrough in photography came with the introduction of film as a photographic medium. Film photography only required a brief exposure to the image through the camera lens, which triggered a slight chemical change in the film, which in turn produced a latent image that could be developed at a later time. Another big leap forward in photography came with the advent of color photography. In 1861, Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell developed the foundations of reproducing colored images. The image was created by photographing the tartan ribbon three times through red, blue, and yellow filters, then recombining the images into one color composite. Still, there were a few issues with the process that needed to be worked out. For one, the production of colored images was limited by the photographic materials available at the time. These early materials were mostly sensitive to blue light, barely sensitive to green light, and basically unresponsive to red light. On top of that, producing these colored images was a time-consuming and expensive process. This hurdle was eventually overcome with the discovery of dye sensitization in 1873. The ability to manipulate the sensitivity of photographic materials to different types of light. Over the course of the 20th century, photography technology continued to mature, with its development in this century stewarded by companies instead of individuals. Companies like Leica, Hasselblad, Nikon, and Canon emerged during this time. And by the 1950s, a large selection of affordable 35mm cameras was available on the market. Some were even capable of printing photos instantly, as seen with the introduction of the very first Polaroid instant camera in 1948. You always have people who question as you pull this tab up. Towards the end of the 20th century, manufacturers aimed to make photography even more accessible and convenient, as seen with the emergence of digital photography. This was marked by the arrival of the Sony Mavica in 1981, which featured an electronic image sensor that records an image and saves it as electronic data, eliminating the need for film entirely. Although the first camera phone, the Sharp JSH-04, was released in 2000, 
It wasn't until the emergence of the smartphone that phone photography became truly ubiquitous. Over the course of smartphone generations, virtually every phone on the market featured a camera or cameras. Companies like Google and Apple further innovated in this field by utilizing software post-processing to generate higher quality images than anything else in the market. It's hard to imagine a world without cameras. Today, everyone has a high-resolution camera sitting in their pocket, capable of preserving a memory with the simple click of a button. As far as the technology has come, a camera's basic function remains the same. 